today's event, TikTok's Digital Literacy Hub, a guide to online safety. Something extremely important that we all need to discuss. And of course, the only way to achieve this mission is to do it together. I am your host, honored and grateful to be here today, Antoinette Toss. Maraming salamat po. And of course, to all of our guests here as well and online once again on TikTok. TikTok has also been working on a refreshed safety guide in response to the above mentioned challenges. This includes a simple four step guide for users and creators to follow when they see questionable content online. This can easily be visualized in four letters S. T D A S for stop. So when you see questionable content, stop for a moment and think about it. And then you proceed to the next letter, which is T. You think and you think and digest the specifics of that content and think about what's the relevance of this content to you or to others. And then you decide, letter D, if the content is beneficial or worth the risk of sharing or reposting. And lastly, A. You act upon it. You act upon it and you either do nothing or you can even report if you see that the content is harmful. Now, TikTok does have uh, very easy reporting functions in-app so that you can readily report uh, content of this nature. It's our hope that by following this four-step guide, online users become more mindful about the content they consume and the content they share. Long-term, we're also confident that this will help develop much-needed critical thinking skills within the online space. Through today's panel discussion, I am confident that we will have an open and engaging conversation that will be a tug in the right direction. Thank you. Marami salamat. What should we do when we spot fake news online? So what would you say is the best way to handle that when you spot fake news and what steps we can take? I think though what we need to possibly do as a society is we need to move away from digital literacy that's focused purely on technology use and shift towards consumer behavior. Stop giving fake news air. Don't angry watch. You watch a content that you know is going to be false, but you want to do it so that you can react to it. That in itself drives their metrics, that drives their relevance on several uh, across the, the algorithm. So you are in fact helping them out. What are your plans for the future? And of course, how can we do better? Uh, we do plan to continue with our monitoring effort. Um, it's behind the scenes, it's working with tech, plat tech platforms such as TikTok. Uh, we plan to maybe increase the amount of information that we're able to gather, analyze it, um, make it digestible. We need to be able to branch out with this concept of fact-checking and integrate it with newer versions such as short-form videos and make it more friendly to a much younger audience who I guess in some ways are resistant to lecture types or long-form types of, 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 of fact-checking. Of course, we will continue to be pr producing content, no? um, but more importantly, we're working with, with the Department of Education to be able to institutionalize digital literacy and civic education. No? So we're, we are integrating this into the curriculum. I do want to collaborate with more news groups, more content creators, more NGOs to address history and to safeguard history. I think that's a very relevant and important thing at this point in time. We look at more uh, of these type of collaborations, multi-sectoral collaborations, or collaborations with you guys, with media, because I see that you guys have a very crucial role to play here. I've already seen a couple of reporters in a couple of publications put up very good TikTok content, uh, but the feedback I get is there's still a lot of things that could be improved on. You know? So I think that moving forward, that's something that TikTok would also be uh, willing to, to, uh, to partner with you guys on how to help promote uh, from the news perspective more credible content to assist as what Ching was mentioning earlier how can you make a factual determination of what uh, fake news is and what is not right and I think having credible sources of information plays a huge role in, in coming up with that decision so just watch out for that and we would be very happy to work with you in that regard together we can truly make a difference in becoming 
extra, extra amazing digital citizens. And as we heard, TikTok's mission once again is there to inspire creativity, to spread joy, but not just that, our mission takes us forward in an even more valuable way today. To be able to fight disinformation and together we can do that through TikTok's Digital Literacy Hub, a guide to online safety. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat!